Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back. We're going to do a little picture, and I mean little, in the uh, underwater book here. I have a pencil marking it. And it's this little guy here. What I had done is I colored in a, a little picture in the back of the book here. And it's this one here. And if you can tell, it's got a little glitter on it. But I was asked how I did it, so I'm going to do the same kind of thing on this little guy here with the same pencils. And they are my um, Sergeant Art Supreme pencils. And there is a couple of different shades in here. So we have a blue, a green, and a yellow that go in it. And then we have the um, purple, pink, and yellow. So I'll show you the colors. And um, when I did my seahorse, I did it with a few extra colors, and then I took some of the colors out because they were unnecessary in a small, small, small little spot. And I'm talking these little areas in this guy here. So we've got, um, and then the yellow. The yellow goes with both sets, so it is the lemon yellow. Okay, so that's our transitional um, color between the colors of green and pinks. So we have the yellow green, a um, teal, and I think it's supposed to be dark blue <laughs> or marine blue, one or the other. I think I took the dark blue out, but I'm not sure. One of these is um, the darker of the two. So even though the color on this is lighter, the pencil is darker than the marine blue, and this is dark blue. So those are the um, blue to yellow set. And we're going to lay those down here. And then we did the um, pinks. So we have the uh, dark violet. And then we have the dark rose, orange blossom, and then of course our yellow. Okay. So we're just going to lay down some color on here. I'll get the camera down a little lower and I'll show you how I did um, those colors. Okay, so here we go. We are going to go in and do, um, let's see, I think I kind of want to make him more of a blue. So we're going to go pink, blue, pink, blue, pink. So we're going to go in here with the blue first. <laughs> just because I want to show you how easy it is to do on the shell. So we're just going to go here and put in, this is the marine blue. We're just going to go in on the bottom. Put a lot of pressure down here to get it nice and dark. And then lighten your pressure going upward. Get nice and light up there. Then we're going to go in with the teal and just kind of go over this area a bit. And bring that up. Then we're going to go in with the um, yellow green. gives you a nice little variation if you want to go over and um, blend a little just take the next shade and add a little color to it do this lightly Do it again on this one up here, and I'll just go nice and dark 
in this area and line it up. And then with the teal. It's smaller, so you want smaller <laughs> little blobs of color down. It's the green. And then the yellow. Go back in if you like. And that's how those colors are done. So I'm going to switch out um, the three blues, keeping the yellow. And bring in the purple, which is your dark violet, your dark rose, and your orange blossom. Okay. And then we're going to um, take the darkest color first, which is the violet. And we're going to put it down in the area down here. Kind of the heavy pressure. And then nice and light going up. We'll do this one at the same time. There's not going to be much room at the top there though. <laughs> we're going to go in now with the dark rose. Blossom. And the yellow. back in if you need to. Or want to. Your choice. <laughs> so if you're all recovered from the big weekend of fairy coloring, I know a lot of you went in and watched almost all of those videos. which was a, a lot of videos, a lot of coloring going on this weekend. We're going to put the um, purple down in here too, so just going to go around. I'm going to do this one just a little bit different. Gonna bring some of that shading down towards his face. So then we'll bring in the um, the rose. And there's some really beautiful pictures colored this weekend. I didn't get to watch as many as I want, but they're on YouTube. I can watch them anytime. <laughs> Go back and watch them at least. So orange blossom.
Okay, we're going to bring the dark up on the other side too. It kind of goes down all the way around here. This is his leg, so we're going to bring this up uh, on this side. Back in with the yellow again. Okay, now we have to figure out what part is his body and if there's another piece of shell on. I think there's a piece of shell right in here. So we're going to do that in the purple. And then this would be his tummy, his feet, and then there would be a tiny bit of shell over on this side. Here we go. Okay, now we're going to do his... Um, buddy <laughs> and we're just going to put in the dark blue and do that on all these areas And on his other middle appendages back here too. So I'm just going to put all the darkness down and then go in with the other colors. Okay, we're going to go in with the um, teal.
I'm going to go in there in black so it doesn't matter if I go over the lines there. It's my excuse. I always go out of the lines. But <laughs> I'll cover that one up with black. in with the um turn it that way the green yellow green and then there we go <sighs> leaving a bit for the yellow Okay, bring in the yellow. If you want to go over any of those, just uh, go ahead and do that and darken any areas up. Just do it softly. Don't want to go over too much of the work you already put down. soft blend here always makes it look a little nicer and then if you have to go in with your darker color now would be the time to get a little more depth into that if you want you can also bring in a little black at this point and darken any areas that you want darkened. So I'll let me get a black pen and I'll show you, or pencil. I have one out here somewhere. It'd be nice just to whistle for it and it would pop up. Okay, black. And then we'll just take a little of it down here. Darken that up a little bit. Down in here. I don't want to go too dark because you lose it in that black. But 
put in these definite shadows here. You might want to bring a little extra of that in there. You can darken up any of these areas. If you want to bring this black in, you can bring it into the claw there too. Okay. Then we're going to do it up here on his little face. And I forgot to do that whole area, so we'll have to do that. <laughs> Let me do that first. So I know what I'm dealing with around his face. this area here a little bit. Didn't do that one terribly good, did I? Alright, and with the, um, it's the teal. No, we've got to do it this way. Just kind of going over everything with the green here just to darken everything up, blend it. You can go over everything a few times with these colors. Make sure you get it blended the way you like. Add a little extra color in where you think it needs to be. Just having a fun time playing. <laughs> it's a little darker there, so I'm just going to add some of the teal in. Probably add some of the blue in too.
anywhere there seems to be a line I'm just going to go over and blend that in a little bit better over any areas you want to add that to. a little bit and we're going to add some highlights to him with a pasta pen. You always got to shake these up. Let's see. Make sure it works. All right. <laughs> and then this is um, up to you wherever you want these. We just put some dots in and then a line coming up. shell. We can add a few um, like little crustacean dots on his leg in the yellow because that would be the lightest spot. This is also the fun spot or the fun uh, stuff to do is just add little tiny details at the end of your video or not video but the end of your drawing. <laughs> End of my video. You can leave them out if you don't want to do this part. I think it's always a little fun to add a little something. And if you thought it was a little dark down here, putting a little white on that always brings it out a little bit. dash a few of them in here. You could do this in a few different colors too if you wanted to. You could bring in some gel pens, put some of these little dots in in yellow and green and whatever other color you would like. And we're going to put some highlights in his eyes down here. Don't exactly know what his eyes are doing, so. <laughs> <laughs> Add a little more black on this one here. Have it kind of match the other one. A 
Or maybe I'll make it all black. Yeah, he looks mean. <laughs> I want him to look cuter in there. Just gonna go in. Just go over what I put on there already and add some more in there. There we go. I have a few more of these little dots over on this side of the shell. Anyway, the last thing I did on the other one to give it its shine was put a little of the, um, let's see, okay, this is Spectrum Noir Sparkle, and it's got some balls down in here, and we just kind of mix it up. <clears throat> it's just a nice jar full of uh, sparkle goodness. <laughs> I'm going to take my Wink Costello. This is empty. Um, but I just used the brush part of it to add in some really nice sparkle on him. So I'll put this all over. I have to be careful of the little dots that I put down. I did notice one thing on when I do the pink. It picks up a little of that pink and moves it around. It'll do it on some of the other colors, but I know it does it on the pink. So we get a little blending going here. So you might want to um, test your colors out before you add the sparkle down. <laughs> and definitely kind of wipe your brush off if you want to keep your colors true to each other. But heck, a little extra blending doesn't hurt. I'm trying to keep it off of the um, Posca I just put down because it will blur that. And probably his little head too. Boom. Mustache. <laughs> I think I got the most of them. If I didn't, I will go over it again. He's got to dry a little bit, but I can show you his shine, I think. I can get the camera to pick that up. Okay, so where he's nice and wet, those are going to sparkle like crazy. So I'll take a picture at the end of the video. I'm going to leave it as is. I kind of like it with the little uh, splat that he's got going on in the background. So that is how um, we did those color combinations. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now.